right, we are live. Okay. Work. Can't tell. Maybe. Everybody gave up on us. Got one person. Hello, can you hear us? Chicken Coop City is in. <laughs> hey, Ashton. Need some baby chicks? Got 927 right now. We're closing in on. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Put that on live chat. Okay. Into the pop out one or can you sit? No. I mean, if we move that, I can. That's what you're talking to, though, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that thing would be easier, probably. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Can you guys hear us? Okay. No, I'm good on the baby chicks. They must hurt. You got. I just asked him if he wants some. Um. <laughs> yeah, we got a few. We ain't got, well, we ain't got a whole lot right now. The uh, the big incubator kind of crapped out, so I adjusted it and I filled it full again. So. I You got something cut it in here? Right there. Right there. I don't see it. Thank you. Had a string on my pant on my socks. I had to have him get off. Mm-hmm. No, we just moved them to the back porch. So, seen the grow area goat pen here. Yeah, you know, we're uh, it's it's a grow area, but we've been thinking we might build a a, a small greenhouse over there. And so, instead of making the whole thing one big greenhouse, do like a small greenhouse because I'm gonna do like a grow barrels and stuff in there anyway. We're good. Been missing your live chat. Yeah, we haven't been on in uh, a few days anyway. I don't kinda, think we've been on all week because I work late. I don't think we've been on last week neither. I know because I've been working late. And... Yeah, I think it's been like a week, a week mm -hmm. and a half. Because like tonight, I just got home and then we ate, got in the shower and just got out. Hey, Rick, how you doing, buddy? Arkansas. Hey, Arkansas. Lots of video, though. Yeah, I figured out how to... Uh, uh, like schedule them to come out like whenever you want them to. I figured out that little deal. So I just upload them and do them one here and there. Let them release one here and there. Kind of handy that way. That way you ain't got to sit in front of on your phone the whole time. All day. Yeah. Well, we got the original gang in there, so we're good. <laughs> As far as uh, uh, subscribers, we're up to like 927 right now. So, I mean, we're, we're almost there. We're going to like, like 75 more, 73 more. Maybe we'll get those pretty soon. We dropped down to one person. Yeah, so that says. I don't know if I believe that or not, though. I watched the video. Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks for watching them. Hopefully my editing skills are getting just a little bit better, but I don't know. I think I need to improve on the editing part of it. Of course, they ain't bad by no means, but they ain't what to say. You're so close to 1,000. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. 
like nine. Like I said, I think it's like nine twenty-seven or something like that. Twenty-six, twenty-seven. Mm, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll get there in a few days. And about thirty of those was from last night and today, where I blew up Facebook last night. I was on our um, comment and posting about yeah, every group I could find. Nine twenty-eight. Nine twenty-eight. So we got one since we come on live. But. So we need 72 more subscribers and we're there. Maybe we'll get them. Mm -hmm. It works. Yeah. Y'all yeah, got on uh, uh, Facebook last night and I started posting a link to our YouTube channel on Facebook and all those groups and stuff. Probably about 30 or 40 of the groups. And uh, and we got a few out of it, so it was worth it. Yeah. I'll do that again in about a week. I'll blow them up again. I guess I shouldn't be using that word, considering. Mm. I mean, there really ain't been a whole lot, like a whole lot going on. I mean, we've done a little bit. When we could, you know, when we had time, we had we done a little bit and put out a few videos on it. But we got to figure out how to do that one side of the grow area. Yeah, like Betty was saying, we could do like a raised wooden guard, wooden beds down that side, mm -hmm. like make a wall kind of thing. Yeah, it's kind of like what I was talking about doing a wall and then like building off that wall, building the beds, you know, and that kind of support that back wall. Yeah. Cause there's, I mean, there's no digging no holes there. I mean, that's for sure. Yeah, you ain't digging much of nothing. That's one big rock. Well, they kind of seen where you busted up that little bit. Mm -hmm. Looks like you've done a lot. Of yeah, yeah, we all have. Me and her and and uh, Jordan been helping a lot. And the baby. And the babies, yeah. Terrace gardening, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, right now the plan is, as far as gardening, the plan is actually, you know, our wicking barrels and stuff like that. Um, I want to get a bunch of those in there. Was the whole thing, the whole area, I wanted in some type of an enclosure, like a uh, greenhouse type enclosure. Um, what I was going to do is just basically frame it all up and then put like wire on it. Uh, and then if we wanted a greenhouse, I could always stretch greenhouse plastic over it, you know, just for temporary or whatever. But the the poles i couldn't get those in the ground uh that deep so i mean at the most they're 16 inches or something like that in the ground at the very most and i don't think that'd be enough to hold up a yeah like six like a large 18. structure i mean it would be huge it'd be like 16 18 inches yeah it'd be and certain in one spot it'd be like 26 feet wide and the other one is, is a, like the other side is uh what 16 let's say 24 about 26 feet so, I mean, it'd be a really, really good size area. So, what, what I'm considering doing is building a, uh, like an eight by eight little small greenhouse inside there. Or buying one. Yeah. And then just it'd be the cheaper grow. just to build it. I've and been then looking. Just having the grow areas on the outside of it, the grow barrels on yeah. the outside. So, we'll, I mean, we'll figure it out. Little by little. Hopefully. Anyway. <clears throat> We get that part of it figured out. The back wall finish. If nothing else, we'll have a, lot, a little lot to turn the dog out in. That's for sure. We'll get a couple goats from Betty. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a pretty decent little, like a little goat pen maybe, but mm -hmm. you still have to fence up some kind of area for them. Free seed certain, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of like what we was talking about. It's like a, just something small, like maybe eight foot by eight foot greenhouse, and then like putting benches in it for seed starting, and then like maybe in the fall and winter stuff like that, she could put like maybe tomato, a couple tomato plants or something in there. Nothing, mm -hmm. just to occupy time. Keep tomatoes and cucumbers going. Yeah, because I mean you're not going to grow a lot mm -hmm. in the winter time anyway here, so.
I may do like an eight by 10 or eight, but I just have to get up our measure the area again. I haven't had time to do it again, but to do measure it and still have room to put all the grow barrels outside. Mm -hmm. Cause I want to build it to where we can still get you know, a bunch of grow barrels in there in, yeah. the, in the area. So that's the whole purpose of it. Yeah. been hoping to make some of these beds. I bought 38 points, 80 posts, three dollars each. Oh wow, that's a good deal. Yeah. I wish I could find something like that. Right. I, I'm I think I'm gonna use the uh uh the plastic drums like we've been using the plastic barrels. I think I'm gonna use those for the even for the beds the you know the just to basically the beds. I'm just going to turn them over long ways and saw them in half and I would make two beds out of it. Um, just simply because that's just, I think it would work better for our situation because I know I like building the wicking tubs because those things work really, really good. I don't know if he still does, but do you remember where we got the metal from? The guy that we got the metal from had some old um, like greenhouse tin stuff too. Well, I don't know. Yeah, remember when me, you, Jordan, and Baby rode up there and got that last bit of metal that we... You You're talking about them big pieces of glass? He had the glass, but he also had that that clear stuff. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to ask him to He had it back behind that building that we walked behind. I have shit or something in there, yeah. That'd be nice. Have something like that in this area, but I, I'm sure there is somewhere. I mean, I just don't know where they're at. Right. <clears throat> so maybe we get deals like that here. That'd be great. <clears throat> we get the that done. Hopefully soon. Then we got a couple other things we're going to be doing too. Back, well, I take it back. We got a lot of other stuff we're going to mm -hmm. do. Got a lot of stuff we want to do, mm -hmm. but doing it's another thing, working late. And well, being gone all the time and just actually financially being able to do it too, you know, is another thing. As Ashton says, once we make our millions on YouTube, we'll be able to do that. <clears throat> but, I mean, doing pretty good, though. Just that... Uh, just wanting some zombies. All right. Oh, we got yeah. the, We still have some left out of that bat, same batch that you got some from, and then I have in that small incubator. I put every how many hold 55, 56 more in it, and I loaded this big incubator back down too, just to see. I I adjusted some stuff and changed some stuff in it, so I really don't want to put it out there on in, on video yet to see if it's gonna work or not. <laughs> the last one, it got too hot. We think. We, we think. think. I mean, according to all the gauges and everything, it stayed exactly 100 degrees inside the whole thing. But out of 216 eggs, only like 16 of them hatched. 16, 18 of them hatched. So, so we did something wrong. Yeah, you know, something, something happened. Well, I just don't know. I don't know. We still have quite a few of them out there, though. Mm -hmm. How many did they want? Yeah, how many they want? We still have some. Yeah, they can have all the ones we got. Mm hmm. There's probably 10, 15 of them out there. If not more, yeah. Were they bulled eggs? <laughs> well, there was a... I didn't open I didn't break them open, to be honest with you. They felt like they something was formed inside of them. Uh, I just, honestly, I just think it just cooked them, you know, too hot. But, but like I said, according to all the gauges and temperature, thermometers and all that crap on it, it stayed perfect. The temperature and humidity stayed exactly perfect. In there. That and that one baby was deformed. Yeah. When it was born. Yeah. Yeah, we had one deformed one. It was its insides were like on the outside. I think I think that's a sign of heat. 
when they do like that. What, when they're deformed like that? Mm-hmm. But no, I didn't crack any of them up in Arkansas because it would have probably been like really, really, really funky if I did. Mm, yeah, let's not do that. Let's you you can take an egg and <clears throat> put it in an incubator and leave it in there for 21 days. And if it don't hatch, let it set for two or three days and then crack that egg open. And that'd be the worst smelling thing you're smelling. Y'all. I don't want to do that. Have to make room. Yeah. Yeah, just let us know, buddy. I mean, we're... The little incubator works, the little cheap incubator, which I thought was really going to be a real piece of crap. It actually works better than this big, big one. So, I mean, so far. That I mean, you built, yeah. So far, anyway. We just need to fiddle with it a little more. I just got to, to fine tune it. I mean, it's not like we don't have plenty of eggs put in it to test it, you know what I mean? So, I just hate putting 216 in it at a time. That's how many I put in it, put in it against 216. But I done away with some of the stuff inside of it. I had Haters on top and haters on the bottom because it wasn't staying the whole, wasn't staying exactly right. I done away with the haters on the bottom and uh, trying it again just see, just to see what it does. I mean, <laughs> baked, <laughs> yeah, that's baked eggs. Well, that was uh, dehydrated. <laughs> I could ground them up, put them in a jar, bro. No, let's not do that. I know you can crack one of them things open if you let it sit for a day or two. And they, and let's not do that neither. Them things are bad, 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 bad. Let's not do that neither. That's some of the worst stuff you ever smell. Tastes like it was pulled straight out of somebody's posterior. <laughs> so I do got to ask, I was, uh, um, is the video editing, the last couple of videos we put out, is the editing part of it any better or is it still... Suck. <laughs> Anybody want to answer that one? Hey, sorry, I just got your message. <clears throat> I think they're great. Thank you, buddy. Hey, H, uh, I don't honestly don't feel like as though I got any better at it. I just kind of um, learn little tricks here and there with it, like how to chop it and cut it and snip it and all that good crap. I'll be back. They need a pillow in the pin, in the hammock. All right. Green man, how you doing, buddy? Green man, how you doing, buddy? I'll be back. He said, Betty. <laughs> the baby and Jordan put them up a, uh, what do you call it, thing? Or, or I think Angel or Cody one may put it up. A uh, hammock in the yard. I have to admit that I'm prejudiced and not in. <laughs> All right, Arkansas, we'll be here, bud. <laughs> Betty, green. <laughs> the editing part of it is like, whenever I first started doing it, it was, it was overwhelming because, I mean, I'm cheap. I don't want to pay for no video editor program whenever they got free ones out there, but the free ones are very limited on what they can do. Just basically just, Add text and cut scenes out about all you can really do with them, I guess. My texts aren't going through. I've been chatting. Yeah, I haven't seen I haven't seen anything, uh, Green Man, until that uh, where it said Betty popped up. That's the only time I've seen anything. I smell a blogger. <laughs> She might have had you in timeout before you before you even got started. She, no, timeout. <laughs> Little green man's here. Going to put him in timeout right out of the gate. <laughs> she said, I didn't delete. <laughs> AR did it. Yeah, maybe while he ran off. He said, he'd be right back. <laughs> 
that may be why he ran off. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Anyway, Jordan and the baby's out there in the hammock. And uh, she ran them a, a pillow and a blanket out there. And the baby wants to sit out there for a little while. I guess. I don't know. He kind of likes it. I know you are, dude. I was seeing if Buddy was in here. I didn't know if he ran out the door when I went out. Excuse me, that's my chair down. Thank you. Oh, what I miss? Um, oh, hey, Green Man. He said he's been chatting, but his text ain't going through. <laughs> they said they're sleeping in the hammock tonight. Yeah, they'll be in here probably that long. I said, what if it rains? Maybe it was Ashton because he's quiet. Yeah, that could have been. Could have been. Ashton hiding in the background. And the block button on everybody. <laughs> you know how them youngins are. You can't, what happened? Can't leave them alone. Somebody get blocked? No, honey. Oh. Green man said he'd been texting, but none of his, or chatting, but none of his texts are going through. Chat's going through. Oh. What did I do? <laughs> I can go. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Um. Mr. Uh, Green Man here uh, feels as though he's been in timeout. <laughs> Somebody blogging Green. <laughs> Betty said I didn't delete. <laughs> I already <all> did it. <laughs> Maybe I <I'm> switched. <laughs> yeah, he, he left earlier, so be right back. And that's right after. That's right before Green Man come on. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty fun. <laughs> but yeah, as far as the editing on the videos, it, it's, I mean, it's just, I don't think I'm getting any better. That's just, you learn little tricks here and there on it. Especially, it's a free program too, so. I think it's, uh, whatever that thing is right there, what's it called? I don't know. Cap cut. Are you back, Green? He's, I believe he's putting time out again. Uh oh. For that? <laughs> oh. It's not, we're not blocking Mr. Green. <laughs> 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 I don't know if Ashton's still in. Ashton may not be in here still. You still in here, Ashton? Says there's only two people, but that we got more than that typing. Yeah, I don't know if I believe all that or not. It says um, see participants there. Yeah. I don't understand what that's all about. Yeah, it says two over. <sighs> it says two over here. And we got at least three typing. Yeah, we thought we'd jump on here for a little while tonight. We'll stay on for a little while, and then we'll jump back off. But figured we'd stay on here for a little while. We got one more. Nine twenty-nine. Yeah, cool. climbing. Mm -hmm. Blasting Facebook must have helped. And you told me how to fix the turn phone off and on. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you need to reboot. Oh, 
Some make their shading private if on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, you mean like for the counter and stuff like that? I'm not going to ever say how many people's in the room and stuff. That, that makes sense. What's that mean? So we won't be able to see them? Yeah, may evidently, yeah. Like it's kind of invisible type thing. Oh. That's all right, though. As long as they're watching, that's all matter. Mm -hmm. Watching us board of crap out of everybody. Do we still get the hours and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just don't show up there. Shy, Shy people. people. Yeah. That's all right. We got the original group in here. We're good. The only one that ain't come in is WNC, ain't it? Yeah. And the Panhandle. Oh, and Panhandle. Yeah. Or spies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, spies. All these people from these other channels spying on us. I really doubt it, but you never know. <laughs> no, I wouldn't care. Want to know how I put my fence up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They, they spy all they want to. I don't care as long as they hit that subscribe yeah. button. We need 70 more. 70 more subscribers. 71. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't been on for a little bit. Uh, it's been actually, I think it's been like two weeks since we've been on live. Like I said, I figured out how to do the uh, um, scheduling the the videos where they come out, like whatever day you want and whatever time you want. Uh, so I just do them all like that at one time, and then schedule them for different times to come out. I always schedule them to come out at 12 o'clock at noon. I don't know why, but I, that's just, I figured that'd be a decent time to set them up. Well, we're either usually gone or outside working. Like and scribe. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Mm. <laughs> Chris hairdresser knows for sure. That's exactly right. Yeah. Hey, I am my own hairdresser. You lie. You have me and Jordan do it. <laughs> Hey, I can't see you going out and paying thirty dollars for somebody wacky hair off whenever you get a five dollar, ten dollar set of clippers, a family dollar, and just buzz that crap off. Now, used to in my pretty days, now I had to keep my stuff all Actually, shined I think up. You used Jordan's good set the last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my pretty days, I had to keep it all laid back to one side. But my older years, I just let it. Uh, Lay where she may. <laughs> he ain't right. Just give it a... And then... Like a brand new one. <laughs> He's done... Fell off the coop somewhere. $30 a year, I get one haircut. Yeah, my hair grows really fast, though. I just got mine late. I normally what I do is I let it, I let it, I chop it off real short, and then I let it, when it grows out of my eyes, and I can see it in my eyes, I know it's time to get it cut again, because that bugs the crap out of me. When it gets in my eyes, I can't stand it. So, once it gets in my eyes, I have a cut. So, normally about every two months, give or take, month or two months. It all depends. <clears throat> But I can't say the paying that. That's crazy. I remember back when it was like seven, eight dollars, you know. Mm -hmm. That that wasn't bad. But now they charge twenty five, thirty dollars just to whack your hair off. I mean, come on, man. I'm gonna uh if I can figure out how to do it. I'm going to go have one of those shirts made that the uh, Arkansas was talking about. Tighter than the frog's ass. <laughs> I'm going to have one of those t-shirts made. 
And when we get a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna figure out how to like pick from everybody to give it away. And we can have one made of at the flea market that done the stickers. I know you've been talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> My husband has this cut. Once a year won't let me cut it. That was it. Mm -hmm. I used to cut uh, uh, Justin and Dustin's. I put a bowl on her head and I cut everything below the bowl, or I tie a string around her head and everything below the string got whacked off. Jordan won't let me cut his. You did Lawrence's too. Yeah. I've been trying to get Jordan to let me fix his up. He won't let me. That ain't happening. Strain my milk will be cool too. <laughs> yeah. That's Larry's t shirt party. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you'd like pick a winner. I, there's somewhere or another they got like a little thing that they click and it picks through all the people or subscribers or so. I don't know how it works, but I think that'd be pretty cool to do. Mm -hmm. Probably have to have my two or three of them made that way. Is that how stream my milk would be cool too? <laughs> you could always just take everybody's name that a subscriber if you have a list of them or a list of who's in our chats they're all the names in a cup and why we're on live thousand one. subscribers mm -hmm. and throw them in a cup mm -hmm. when you strange your milk <laughs> if you have a list of names i'll write them down for we'll, a thousand people and we'll take them and throw them in a cup one night when we're on a live you'll just reach in and grab one yeah you strange your damn milk <laughs> I got no thousand people's name down. You've lost your mind. I will. You got to draw. I think it's taking been just way too far, though. Whenever we can just say whoever's the 25th person to comment on this video wins the shirt. Well, no, then that might be like waiting and waiting and waiting. Or one person will comment like 25 times. That'd be my luck. Of course, I don't, I don't care. Whichever. Yeah, video giveaway by comments only. Live drawing, yeah. Yeah, see, yeah, she's, on drawing. My, she's on my my side. I think she means something different though. In this, instead of writing the like thing, picking out the names and drawing it, like I said. So you're gonna sit down with a piece of paper and pencil and write down one thousand names. One thousand. We ain't got a box big enough to put that many pieces of paper in. Or you could just do all the ones off of our chat. Well, no. But then that wouldn't be fair. No, I don't want to. I'll write down a thousand names and I don't care. Sure. You're right. How hard can that be? All right. You got 926. Go ahead and get caught up. Huh? 929. Go ahead and get, start your burger. Start getting caught up. You can't Give even me go a list here. of them. You can't even get on here and see like the list of people that is your subscribers. I don't think. Oh, can you not? I don't think so. Then I can't write their names down if I don't know who they are. It don't tell you who they are. I don't know. Arkansas probably knows more about all that stuff. I'm sitting here guessing. Maybe we'll have to let them tell us how to do it. Yeah. There you go. Comments on the videos and only must be a sub. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kind of the rules for it. Yeah. Yeah. Next video that we do, I'll I'll mention that on there maybe or something. But be my luck, we have a thousand before I make the video. So, well, probably not though, because it was like three days that we didn't gain not one. We lost, we actually lost one subscriber and didn't gain any for like three days, and then all of a sudden. Gained... this video, a lot of people can watch it. A lot of people don't watch the live one. Um, oh, you mean on the next one you post? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people don't watch the live videos. Would it have to be one that we make after today, then, or after this week? I mean, we can make it. Yeah, because we got them coming out on Friday and Saturday. Yeah, we have them coming out, already scheduled to come out. Nothing big, just... I think one of them just the babies playing around the chickens, and the other one's um, the bill at the prepper store. Talking about storing sugar, salt, and flour. Yeah, there you go, Arkansas. 
Come to the town sub get away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think YouTube is unpredictable. Me too. Yeah, it's very. I don't know if I. Honestly, I don't know if I buy the whole. Um, how they do subscribers and stuff on here. I think that uh, you may have more or less than they're actually saying, because uh, whenever we get subscribers, sometimes it'll pop up and say so and so subscribe to your channels. And then it'll be a number, and then you check it again like you got five more subscribers, but it, you ain't got a clue of who they were. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know if it's just something they do before you get to that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. Um, uh, the next the next day we're off, we'll do a video, and then in that video, I'll bring it up. I'll mention it, and then I'll also put in a title or something, you know, like a thousand sub giveaway. But I probably need to have the shirt made first. Well, no, because I won't know what size somebody wants. Damn you do, damn you don't again. That the the shirts and the stuff like that, they're not that expensive, I don't think. Because I, I remember talking to him about them. I just can't remember what he said. Let's go back over there. Mm -hmm. The subs hide their sub count too. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy the way it works. I mean, because you get you get one, it'll say so and so. You can get an email saying that somebody subscribed to your channel, but then you go check it, and you've got four more, but it don't. You ain't got a clue who those four people were. So I mean, that don't even say their name on there. It's kind of crazy the way they do it. So I don't know if I, if YouTube, it's just something that they do to kind of well, sucker in saying. more or what. I don't well, mean, that's I don't. what he's saying. They hide it. They don't want that information out there. As long, but as long as I hit that subscribe button, I can hide anything I want to hide on here. They, they can be closet watchers. <laughs> privacy, yeah. Privacy. <clears throat> well, that's like us. If we wanted 100% privacy, we wouldn't be throwing videos on here. But, mm -hmm. but why not? I think it's pretty fun to do videos when we have time. I mean, mm -hmm. to a certain extent, I guess. And sometimes you get just overwhelmed doing something, you can't video it. And it's like whenever me and her's working by herself, it's hard to video it. And then sometimes I need help holding board and can't hold the board and video it. And your subs, you don't make videos. Just, yeah. Yeah, they just watch your videos. Um, some, some of them do. Some of them, I mean, we got uh, a bunch of subscribers that are like, uh, have their own channel on here and stuff like that too. So, like Arkansas and uh, Southern Ohio and them. I think he put out a video today. I think I got that. Joe over St. Bernard, he ain't been putting out a whole lot of videos here lately, I don't think. Every now and again, I, do, I get something from him. Want to teach the baby to film? Yeah, he already wants He already wants a camera. Now, every time we pull out the camera, he says, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> I'll put He'll it say, on. I want a video. Let me video. I'll record you. Yeah. Ow, I just hit my like toe. and subscribe. Like and subscribe. So then if it went into recording or if we pull out the camera, he'll holler, do the like and subscribe, papa. <laughs> They're pretty funny. Or he'll say, Nana, Papa and Daddy's hollering for me. Yeah. They need me to help. Yeah, he's funny. I yeah. think I I think we got him on video saying no. And it's on this last video I just put up. Cause it because I went over and uh, stuck the camera right right in his face like that. And he said, Welcome back a channel. <laughs> and I had him in the swing and he says, Nana. Put me down. Daddy and Papa hollering for me. He is funny, yeah. He mm -hmm. is. You ought, to, you ought to see him, like, working around up here and stuff like that, you know, in real life instead of on video. He's constantly making some kind of little comment. <laughs> is it all the video I see is Amanda working and you swinging the camera around? I mean, somebody got to do it. 
Well, Jordan working, huh? Yeah. Hey, somebody's got to look. Somebody's got to hold the camera, I reckon. And I'm another year older. Thank you. I had a birthday the other day, so I get to work halftime. It's been a couple weeks, yeah. All right. It's been exactly one week. And it feels like it's been 27 years. Yeah. yeah he does he always on. does. It's like the, the back, the last two posts that we put in around the grower up there, uh, he had to take a sledgehammer a mile or whatever you call them things, a splitting mile, and basically beat them rocks up enough and dig them out because it's old shell rock, you hit it and it'll bust off like, deep enough for us to get a pole in there. So he done those with a mile. Mm -hmm. And he busts a lot of wood up here. Yeah. yeah. Every time he's here, he always busts wood or he always does something. Weed eats. Yeah. Cuts trees down. Well, he needs to figure it out because Whenever we die out, they're going to take care of it. Him and the baby. I don't think he figured it out, though. I don't, think, I don't think he probably don't know a whole lot about it with the solar, but I think he knows a little bit about it now. I think him and Ashton are pretty much the only two that know a little bit about the solar. Yeah. It was undecided if we wanted to start the grow area yet or move the rest of those panels. I got four panels on the back porch I need to move. But I mean, they're not, it's not a pressing thing right now because we can't afford to start the building onto the house yet anyway. So I mean, it ain't no big deal if we move them or not. And we definitely need that grow area. So mm -hmm. it was kind of torn on. But a roll of wire, I see we bought six. Uh, I use landscape timbers for post. We bought six of those. I bought 12 of the cheap, uh, well, cheaper eight foot decking boards. Uh, got 12 of those. Then I got a roll of wire. And that roll of wire is garbage. It's the two before welded wire. You can say that again. And all you do is grab it and pull it like that and it'll break. The, the strands will break. Got another too. one. Yeah. But anyway, uh, we got, uh, let me make sure I tell everything we got. We got the, um, the boards, got the 12 boards, 12 landscape, I mean, 12 decking boards, like flooring boards for a deck. And then I got the six landscape timbers, got the roll of wire, uh, what else did we get? Got a box of staples. You know, the three-quarter inch staples for the wire. Um, eight. Six, no. Four bags of concrete. Yeah, four bags of concrete. I think. But anyway, it was 300 bucks. Just for that little little bit. And I fixed the... Uh, got to get taters and dirt. That's exactly right. We're going to do uh, taters and a... Container, grow potatoes in containers. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's dirt, I'm sorry, but yeah. Well, let me right. tell you, I got blueberries growing in the closet. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get them out and plant them. <laughs> well, we don't have, we only have one of the barrels ready. The other two that's up there are not ready, and I need to get about 30 more barrels. That well, we're going to keep out rabbits. May I hope, I mean... If not, I'll go around it again, but like that little cheap chicken wire just for now, just something to throw on it, I guess, but I'll do something if it don't keep them out. The only thing I'm really worried about is like the deer jumping the fence, you know, because it's just four feet. Hopefully they won't. Because there, there is a bunch of deer up here. Mm -hmm. But if they do jump the fence, with them potatoes I told you was growing in the, the wicking barrels and stuff, we'll have some meat in that pot with it. <laughs> it'll be a stew. It won't be it won't be boiled potatoes. It'll be a stew at that point. <clears throat> we need to finish that back wall. Like I said, the, 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 only, the only really the only thing sucky part about it is the um, the opening in the front. We're gonna put a little gate there. Um, it's only gonna be twenty four inches wide for the gate, which I mean, we don't have to take anything in there, you know, as far as like the barrels, cause we can just pitch them right over the fence. They ain't four foot tall fence. Um, 
maybe even if we get like a wheelbarrow or something like that just to have in there and use it, we can set that over the fence. We ain't got to go through the gate with it. It's kind of suck if you have to take it outside the gate. You have to put it in buckets and take it out that point. Mm -hmm. So, does electric wire use a lot of amps? Um, no, I, I have a, a um, uh, electric fence box that is solar, and that thing will it'll it'll let you up. Yeah, it'll get you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I have a I actually have a brown new one. I used it around the chicken house for a little while, and uh, I just didn't like taking the little uh, thing down because you had to take it down to go open the door. Is that not the same one we used at the other house, too, with that cow? Mm -mm, no, that's that one up there. Mm. That little one up there. That's one Jim had rigged up. Oh. The, uh, the big solar one's still up on chicken house. I ain't moved it yet, neither. I need to move that. Mm. Around 30. It's climbing. That's what mine said, too. So. Anyway. I wonder if they fell asleep in the hammock yet. I doubt it. No, they'll be back in there in a while. It'll get cold out there. Well, probably get down like 40. 40s. I don't think it's supposed to. Get eat up with bugs, you know, night bugs and mosquitoes and stuff. But the uh, electric fence, uh, as far as that goes, I've got that that big box. Mm -hmm. 57. 57. Oh, they might sound up for a while then. It's 60 right now. Mm hmm. But I'm, I'm trying to think of what else we got. Um, I think that's about all I got because, matter of fact, I know it was because we had it on the truck. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was three hundred bucks. It's actually like two hundred ninety some dollars on it, two ninety seven or something like that, give or take. It's like two ninety six, two ninety seven. And but uh, whenever we replaced the vent on the back on top of the house, uh, the bathroom well, the vent. First time, first day it was two ninety seven. We went back and got the yeah the the concrete. Mm -hmm. the that roller wire was one hundred ten by itself, and it's. Absolute garbage, it really yeah, is. Yeah, it was two ninety seven the first day, and then we went back and got the concrete the second mm -hmm. day. We got uh like 50, 56 feet or something like that left. And well, just say fifty feet left of the roll of wire. And I'm gonna build her like a little thing to let the dog run around in out there somewhere, like a little small lot for it. Because every time I bring him outside, the hawks the hawks come in like tens or 12s or 15s at a time. They won't be a hawk in the sky and that dog run through the yard one time and that they're everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. They's anywhere from five to ten of them. But one or, they don't they don't come in singles. It's like five to ten of them at a time. And they worry me with my dog, but they also worry me with the grandbabies. Yeah. <clears throat> no, they they'll try to take that dog. Solar video digging. Yeah, it's still climbing. It's mm -hmm. um it's it climbed real fast and then it just kind of stopped. So, like right now, it's at a stopping phase. And a lot, we had like 15, 16 subscribers just off that video. So, then it, day before yesterday or yesterday or something like that, it just completely stopped as far as counting up, you know. So, if we get a few videos like that out, we'll be doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, I got the one out of the uh, the prepper store, Bill over there at Carolina Red and the Supply. I got I done that video on him, and I, there's another little segment I'm putting out uh, Friday on it. I think over time it grow. Yeah, yeah. It should. I mean. We'll change during the year. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember or not here, but I think about the last time we done a live or one or the other, mm -hmm. there was a guy come in and wanted me to do a video on the solar, like what it was and like what size of wire. And I don't know if you guys remember his comment here in the room. That's the reason I done a video. Mm -hmm. Kind of break it down to show him, show him like what it was and how much it costs. And even if that, I never did. I don't think I never really tell them how much it costs because I really don't know because that's, I mean, I know what I paid for stuff kind of at that time. And uh, like what it would cost right now, I just, I don't know. 
I do know the batteries are very expensive, and I, I like to have a few more of them, but my rich uncle's still in the poorhouse. Straining his milk. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll have to go um, I don't know if we'll get to this weekend or not maybe next weekend we'll go what? Uh, flea market? yeah and see how much it costs to have one made What kind of batteries to start with? We started with the uh, deep cycle marine batteries, like boat batteries, like a car battery. Uh, I had like 16 or 20 year in them or something like that. I can't remember in a in a box that I built. Just like a little wooden box. I built like a little. The Well, now the first one we started with, I had two batteries in it. It's so like a little wooden box I built, had two batteries in it. And I figured I'd pick it up and towed it around and stuff. Well, no, it was heavy. Mm -hmm. So the, the idea of that was like when we very first started here on the property, we had the camper. And I was thinking, well, you know, we moved the camper and take a little box and set it outside and charge it and plug the camper up into it and stuff like that. Well, that was a good idea and all, but, you know, it weighed like a lot. So I started with AAs at Christmas. <laughs> yeah. And then we, then I built a bigger box and I put, I think it was 16 or 20 of those batteries in it and it wasn't designed to be moved. And then I put the inverter and everything all in that big wooden box. I got the second one on, on our Facebook page. Let me see if I can find it. That's the first battery we started with was the flooded lead acid batteries, which is basically just a Walmart battery for boats. All right, Arthur. And then a bunch of um nissan leaf uh the car the electric car i bought a bunch of, bunch of batteries out of one of those and built here's, a battery yeah here's the this box right here that's the wooden box that i built you can see the batteries in it that's me working on it you can flip through the picture yeah but that's that's kind of the original box that i built and you about had to have a forklift to move that thing when i got done with it i don't know why i overbuilt stuff like that but that's a better one. Yeah, that's the batteries in it. There's the batteries right there. That's the original batteries that we started with. That's the inverter. Can show them? No, it's just, just the same picture over and over. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but then, like I said, then I went and bought a... Uh, bunch of uh, Nissan Leaf batteries because I figured that I was ready to go. But, um, I mean, they are good batteries. It is a good way to go. You just have to have so many of them. And they've got to where they was very, very expensive too. Oh. And uh, oh. I'm trying to think. I built a box for those. There again, very, very heavy. Um, and then got into these lipo four batteries which was supposedly state dark stuff and i and I, I will tell you they are these batteries are pretty pretty impressive they really are because even uh, 16 or 20 of them batteries in that box um you know like of a night if you leave watch your tvs of a night and leave your fans running all night and stuff like that so you can't run a lead acid battery below 50 percent and the batteries we have now we can run implement zero if we want to but i just don't want to but uh um, from from 100% to 50%, it's basically the same as having eight batteries. Um, you leave your fans on of a night, you know, TV, you know, a refrigerator and freezer and stuff like that. Your batteries are almost dead the very next morning. I mean, down like really low, and you're not even supposed to run them down below 50%. And now, <clears throat> the batteries we have now, they hardly ever, they, like I said, they're very impressive. They, uh, like, say, like, right when the sun goes down, it gets dark there at 100%. Uh, trying to see. And 
She's so like, right now it's been dark here for what? A couple it's hours. A couple hours, something like that. About an hour and a half. About an hour and a half. Just we'll just say two hours. Um and this is what the incubator's running, uh refrigerator, freezer, all the lights, computers, uh refrigerators, did I say that? Refrigerator, mm -hmm. freezer, computers, all the lights, TVs, internet, everything. And they're still sitting on ninety nine percent. Ah, well, you can't see that. Right. Or, yeah, still sitting at ninety nine percent. All right, Arkansas. And the hot water heater was on because I just hot water shower. heater. Yeah, water pump. I mean, all the normal stuff too. And that's cooking. That's cooking after dark. Everything. Air fryer. Air fryer. Yeah. So, there. Like I said, there. In the morning now, like when we get up in the morning. Uh, a 92 93 percent in the morning so they use the way that i figured is the batteries drop one percent the way that i see it drop one percent every uh every couple hours every two two and a half hours it'll drop down one percent that i've noticed i mean i'm sure it would drop more if we used a lot of real high power stuff you know overnight but but just normal the way we live and stuff like that uh with the water heaters cooking everything in the house i own at the same time uh, it normally drops one percent every two to two and a half hours which is pretty good mm -hmm. sometimes if we turn the mini split on it goes a little lower yeah but not bad yep yeah, saying so, okay now if we run that's different. Now, if we run a mini split all night long on heating or cooling, we're probably down to about, we get up the next morning, we're still, the batteries are starting to set at about 78% charge. And 78 to 80% charge. So even at that, that's that's pretty impressive. It really is. Because that thing absolutely, it's not energy efficient whatsoever. It's a cheap one to bait, and it absolutely sucks the power. It uses more power Ooh. than everything in the house combined. Yeah. So, I mean, I, except for maybe the coffee pot, I am going to replace it whenever I get the money. I'm because I'm, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to get one of the energy efficient ones. I didn't, I didn't research that part of it very much whenever I bought that thing. Um, it's an 18k uh mini split, it's pretty high powered one, but whenever I say pretty high powered, it also uses a lot of power too. I think it uses over 2,000 watts continuously, you know. The coffee pot uses a lot too, though. Yeah, yeah, believe it or not, the coffee pot uses almost as much as that mini split does. Almost. Mm -hmm. I think it uses like 15, 1600 watts. I don't know how many it uses, but I know it uses a lot. Mm -hmm. Do you use a washer and dryer? No, not yet. We go to the, uh, at, at our other house, we have a washer and dryer there. So we just use those. We haven't, we haven't put one in here yet, but we ought, we do plan on it. Yeah. Instead of going to the laundry mat, we just go to the other. I kind of, in there where the coffee pot is a dead short. Yeah, that's for sure. Do what? The coffee pot is basically um, use a lot of power. Yeah. Um, in there where the batteries are at, that's where the washer and dryer is supposed to go. Um, mm -hmm. But once we start adding onto the house and building onto the house and fixing it up, I'm going to build a laundry room. And I'm also going to build a, uh, like a, like a little closet just for all the solar stuff to go into. And if we're here and we need something washed and we're not going back to the other house, it laundromat, yeah. we either go to the laundromat or I can take it in there in the bathtub, wash it out and hang dry it in the, with the wood stove. And it does just as good. Yeah. I'm actually going to put a, uh, an old school clothesline up out here too. Uh, my mom had one. Uh, the whole time I grew up, my mom had one and I want one just because I mean, whether we ever use it or not, I, I just want one. I wanted the original poles that my mom had, but I, I didn't get them in time. So, because they were still up there in the ground, up there in Clyde. So, yeah, I wanted those so bad. I couldn't stand it. Never did get over and never could get them. So, I don't know why I wanted them so bad. I just did. I just thought that was cool. But I remember me and my daddy putting them in the ground at the house in the backyard. When they first got them. Maybe that's why, because you knew that you and him did it and yeah. you wanted it. 
Because it's something you and him did together. It was me and him, my cousin Gene. We dug holes and concrete them in the ground. Then run the wire back. Ball. So. There's just certain things I can remember when I was little. Not a lot, but certain things, yeah. That was half a century ago. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <clears throat> yeah. I want to do mine. Uh, uh, I want to kind of keep the, like my, my dad had. My dad bought something that was like three inch steel pipe. Uh, you know, it was like one and then a T, you know, and it was all three inch pipe. And uh, it was there was solid steel. I mean, like cat, I'm oh, not cast, but uh, what do you call it? It's galvanized or whatever. Huh. I kind of like. Uh, I want to go with something like that. Just like I said, certain things I do. So it's like at the other house. Whenever I was remodeling it a little bit, uh, I remember when I was growing up, my mom always we had one phone in the house, and it was in the living room, but it had one of them cords on it, it was like 50 feet long. You know, you could run in three rooms over with it. But uh, my mom always wanted another phone in the house, and uh, she finally got one. And it's like a little old inside the inside of the kitchen there, just hanging on the wall. And whenever I, I tore it out and put it back, I put that. I didn't put that phone, but I put another phone right back where that was at. So I'm kind of, I kind of like doing stuff like that. Just, I guess remembrance, remembrance of them, you know. There's certain little things like that. I hung that phone right back in the same exact spot. Not that phone. I mean, a phone that I thought resembled it from what I could remember when I was a kid. But that, that phone hanging in the kitchen was my mama's pride and joy for like six months because she had to call everybody and tell them she had one in the kitchen now. I remember all that stuff. Then the, they had a, uh, a washing machine. was one of those that you wash, and then you run them through the back up, and you ring it turn it and it pulls it close to it and it rings them out. I think that'd be cool to have. And then that's that's how she washed them up and then hung them on a the clothesline. Then I think they finally got finally got a regular washing machine but still had to put them on a clothesline. Never, I never known of my mom to having a dryer ever. I think it'd be cool to have one of the ones you wash them and ring it to that little ringer. Well, I, I think right before my mom passed away, I think she did have a dryer at that time. I think. Because I think Adam got one. You don't blame her what? Close the fire. Oh. Yeah, and like I said, there's certain things like that I, I can remember. And but yeah, that's the reason I do some of the stuff I do is kind of uh, kind of like a remembrance of them or people that, you know, that, that family and stuff that's been in my life that's, that's gone now. I always try to do something that kind of reminds me of them a little bit. Remember those days, yeah. Old dial phones. Yeah, that's what it was. It was one of them, you, you got it like that, and then let it go, and it, it'll go back. And mash it, do it again, and it'll go back. Yeah. That's exactly what kind of phone we had in the living room. But uh, somewhere or another, she found a cord for it, like at the dollar store or something. That was like 50 foot long. You could go from the living room plumb almost to the bathroom with that thing. <laughs> Boy, my daddy would be so mad if he could if he couldn't hear what you was talking about on that phone. He would be pissed. Why? I don't know. He just like that. I don't know. Like you know, you get that phone and you go into the bedroom with it and close the bedroom door. Mm -mm. You come your ass out of that phone. Mm -hmm. There was no private conversations with my dad in the house. He wanted to make sure that you weren't talking about him. I reckon. I don't know. <clears throat> That's why there's only one phone in the house for so long, because he didn't he didn't want another phone in the house because he wanted to know what was going on. He wanted to know who was talking to who and hand pump water pump in their kitchen, yeah. Uh the old house that we got, we we still got it. Uh when I was a kid they went in the bathroom and there was a there's a little wooden shack in the back you went out there and deposited in. <laughs> <laughs> We had a party line. <laughs> yeah, that was all back before pagers and cell phones and 
all that crap. You had to actually call somebody and talk to them instead of texting them or paging them. And, you know, back whenever I got into to the bell bonding thing, you know, years and years and years ago, I carried two pagers with me all the time. And I thought I was like technology. And I thought I was high mm-hmm. tech. Boys, I had two pagers. Insurance company gave me one and I had one, personal one. You're but, boring them. We went from yeah. six to three. So that says, I don't know. But yeah, I thought I was high tech type, high technology there, boy. They even, then they sent me a pager that you could actually like type letters into. You know what I mean? Instead of sending a number, you could actually type letters into it. And oh, Lord, I just knew I was king of the crop there, boy. I remember when daddy had a pager. <clears throat> Then they went. I remember the when the cell phones first came out, those in a bag, bike phones. In which I, I still got one somewhere, a bike phone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Neighborhood knew when you got a cow. Oh, up. The Kino Four. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember the old phones when they started ringing. You hear them in the neighbor's yard over there. Then I think, then finally they come out like a three way calling, and uh, you could hang up and call somebody else. Because uh, a lot of people were taking the, like, you mean you'd be talking, and then uh, we'd say, well, like, so and so's been talking about you, you know, and then, and then you could call them, and then why, as long as you're quiet, you, they, you get them to talk about you again, you know what I mean? Like, bust them, catch them, you know, catch them talking about you and stuff. <laughs> and then you'd be in the background going, mm-hmm, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Watched a video, video today that said big events coming late spring, early summer. Um, yeah. Like I said, I'm st- I'm still sticking to what I originally said. I, I look for something absolutely horrible to happen before the end of the year. I really do. But we may have our 1,000 subscribers before then. <laughs> as soon as we get our thousandth one, everything yep. go out. Yeah. Black. Inter- internet will go sh- shut down, and we'll have no internet for 10 years. And, but we got our 1,000 before it did. Let's see how many we got right now. Same. Same. 930. We've gained two since we went live. But yeah, they. Uh, uh, also, I was watching yesterday, what, the day after the eclipse or something like that, that there was a big massive asteroid come through that mm-hmm. nobody knew nothing about. That's not that's not the one that's uh, the devil's coming. They weren't talking about it. There was a whole different one. So they didn't even know nothing about it. It came slipping through. I see 927 on my end. Yeah, it's a uh, it's went up to 930 now. I just checked it. Unless we lost three. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. They probably watched our live and said, uh uh-uh. uh. I mean you got um nine thirty. Refresh it. Yeah, nine thirty is what we're we're showing. Said may be hard for a while, but better and longer. Yeah, that's what. You can't see us. Got that glare on yours. All right, it's barely set. Nine thirty. Yeah. That's what mine says again. Yeah, the um, the Israel thing. 
Um, I've been watching that. That that honestly has the potential of, of causing everything that preppers mm -hmm. in the United States are prepping for. You know what I mean? We'll leave it at that. But that has the poten potential of causing that. It really does. I refresh and see now. Okay, yeah. Maybe we'll get seven more. They like your videos. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, hopefully we can get a get a few more out, a few more decent videos. We'll have to start reaching out to everybody about video ideas because we're kind of other than just basically you know working around a place running out of stuff to, to really to go do there's a bunch of places and stuff we'd like to go and film that but a lot of, a lot of people's not into that you know mm -hmm. a good percentage of people's like solar oriented or something like that want to want to see like the solar and stuff like that and then then you got another percentage that like to see the prepping stuff and then you got the cooking stuff and so we're trying to cover trying to get to where we can cover all of it but i still think we're doing pretty good though like i said every other time uh, i watched videos where it said that they took them it's took them two years to be monetized for the first tier of monetization that we've done you know, pretty good while back at 500 subscribers and it's took them two years to do that and we've done it in five six months so i thought that's pretty good how two videos are the best yeah how two videos yeah yeah there's a there's a way that you can get on uh, youtube and they'll tell you like uh um what people the biggest uh uh what they search the most on are like people that watch your videos what do they search the most and stuff like that and that that's how to videos is way up there way it's like pretty close to the top like diy stuff yeah that's what <clears throat> then i had somebody it's been a while back contact me saying Interested to chase down a craghead? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. They all, most of them I deal with are crackheads. <laughs> Believe it or not, and I, I don't say that lightly. <clears throat> I need to film one one time. But then I have to explain the deal why, why I'm putting it on the internet. Well, everybody else does, though. I guess as long as you don't like reveal personal information about them or something like that, you probably do it because that's they a blue million people put it on there, and it. I kind of like not to merge the two together though. Right. <clears throat> there, there for a long time, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't even work like you know do the the pickup part around where I lived, you know, like. Within a general area where I lived at, just simply because I didn't want them like following her home or messing with her when they see her out in stores and stuff like that, you know, because you never know. People are crazy anymore. That's mm -hmm. the reason I always chose to work away from home. But I quickly got over that. Well, no, I can't say that neither because I'm still. There for a long time, still driving I'll all over the country. Yeah. Yeah, definitely be off topic. <laughs> definitely. Mm -hmm. But you know, a good way to do it is to interview the uh, the off the true off gridders, the homeless people living in them tent cities, going there and interview them. That'd be a video. Mm -hmm. There's one guy that actually does that. I mean, he, he gets millions of views every time. Millions of views. Uh, he's, uh, I can't remember his name now, but I just seen it today. He's on my phone. It popped up. He's uh, in Louisiana look, uh, talking to the people that live on houseboats. 
like off grid on houseboats. That one that that wrote that w- was writing that book, it would have been a good one. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Once, once, unless it's just a repeat thing, and the people that I deal with constantly. That, that's, I mean, you meet them one time and you probably never see them again in your life. But, but every now and again, you get those that you continuously have to be out looking for all the time. They get them once and go get them again, go get them again. <clears throat> and it's bad whenever you can ride into a, a city, a large city. And people know exactly who you are just by your car coming through. Check videos, do you think? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always want to do some chick videos, but I, she probably wouldn't go for it. <laughs> oh, she's talking about chickens. No, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> We're still for about 15 minutes. Put stuff for them to play on. Yeah. Yeah, Chris, build something for my chickens to play with. Well, they got swings in there, but the baby's getting there and play on those. <laughs> yeah, short videos are the best. But you got to have 10 million views on a short video within 60 or 90 days to be monetized. 10 million views. That's We can barely get 100 views on that. <laughs> Trying to see. Mm-hmm. Uh, a comment pop up and I'm trying to see what it was. Yeah, I don't see it. I had a video, a uh, comment pop up, and I was trying to see what it said, but anyway, is there something about twenty-minute videos? Um, I don't know. Well, the, the only thing I know really about videos, they said to keep them at least eight minutes long, because they won't monetize them if they're not eight minutes long, because it ain't long. They have to be at least eight minutes for them to put their commercials in, their you know their ads in. Um, that's something I heard. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. It's just what we heard. Well, said, said I'm not talking about shorts, but under eight minutes. Under eight minutes, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, that they said that they had to be at least, for them to put the commercials in, had to be at least eight minutes. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't know how true that is or not, but um, mm. But we could do like, we try that. Just kind of keep them around and do some stuff like that length of time. Mm-hmm. Like four or five minute videos? Yeah. Or something. I mean, I don't know what. Mm-hmm. Like the baby catching eggs or doing eggs. Or- yeah. But I, th- I think we're talking about like 15, 20 minute videos. I think. I'll have to start watching ads. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I click out as soon as it says skip, I hit the skip button on any of them. So, <clears throat> unless he's on his phone and not paying attention, yeah, or the TV, I just let it play. You know, if I just put it on, let it just let it go like overnight or something, I, just, I won't leave all the ads playing and everything.
it's kind of hard to, for me, it's kind of hard for me to edit because I don't know what part I want to cut out and what, what I don't. And I try to pick out little parts of it that I definitely want to stay in the video and then try to whittle it down. That's just like the one that, uh, that I just put out about the uh, grow area where we start the fence. There was like 70 video clips that I whittled down to that length of time. Like 70 video clips that we done. Some of them was seven, eight, nine minutes long, the video clips itself. And then some of them were like a couple minutes long. But there were 70 of them. What they put out? Of it? Yeah. Yeah, they should be. Put out the existing videos. Yeah, I think once you go monetize, everything that everything's on your channel is monetized at that point. Unless you do something. Hey, Panhandle. To make them mad, I guess. Hey, Panhandle. How you doing, buddy? Oh. 65,000 views on the can opener. Wow. Oh, lordy. We need to open. Hey, we got a, uh, uh, we do have a, uh, uh, what is that thing you make tea in? A little teapot. We might get 65,000 views on that again. Tea maker? Yeah, tea maker. But we throw the box away, though. Is the only thing. Mm -hmm. we could, Actually, uh, we burnt the box. That could have been our 1 million subscriber video. Mm hmm. That's a lot of videos on a can opener. Yeah. I think once you get uh, the way that I, I've been watching it and like the analytics and all that, whatever, how you say that word on the channels and stuff. But I think that the, once you hit the 1,000 subscriber mark and you watch hours, I think that YouTube throws your video out there a lot at that point. I think they just kind of mess with you a little bit at first to make you earn it. Got rid of all my old junk stuff. Yeah, Lord knows I need to go through all my crap, too. Three minutes on a hand can opener. Wow. Maybe I need to start doing stuff like that. I mean, I can I got all kinds of stuff in the counter doors in there. Back on the road. But yeah, Panhandle, I need to do that. I got tons of stuff that I need to toss out, too. But as soon as I do, I'll need it. Mm hmm Video day was awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You talking about the one where the um, which one was it today? The greenhouse grow area. The grow area thing. video. Yeah. I think that was today's. Mm, maybe I don't remember. I I figured out how to schedule them out for like a day or two. Like I can sit down now and do like if I got two or three videos ready, I can go ahead and upload them and just schedule them to come out on a different day. I finally figured all that crap out. But so to be honest with you, I don't know which one. I think it was that one though. I think it was the grow area one. Mm -hmm. I need to get back to work get some rest. Get some rest, yeah. Yeah, grow area. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I know I got um I done the, the prepper store one. Uh I've already put that out I think it came out Monday. Um I didn't have enough to do every day that like if you know last week I put one out every day. Um well, Monday through Friday, but this week we don't have enough to do that. I put that one Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then the one about the babies on Saturday. It's just like a little video clip. But it's actually like eight or nine minutes long of them just hanging out, playing, and collecting eggs and stuff like that. So, But uh, the one Friday is like part two of that prepper store thing. Uh, he was talking about how to store um, salt and sugar flour. and flour long term a lot of people don't know how to t really i mean it's sad to say but a lot of people don't know how to store like sugar you know for years and years i miss joe's live stream channels we haven't done none yeah uh panana um this is the first time we've done one and uh, it's like i want to say two Almost weeks, two weeks. Yeah. we just haven't had time i mean everything got kind of hectic at one time so um we got a little free time today, so we figured we'd we better jump on here so people didn't run off on us. We're, we're definitely going to do one this weekend for sure because we'll both be home this weekend, what, Saturday? Try to, yeah. Try to, yeah. Well, yeah, if we're at home. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Everything so kind of say, say that something that come up and one yeah. of us will have to work or yeah the, the plan is green man ran off he might be had to reboot and didn't get to come back on we just got some more one guy on my lower bikes yeah oh, that's cool yeah, that's cool i think um we still have as far as the one gallon ones i know we got that box like 250 of them over in that box that's not used i mean I, I, when i bought them i bought uh i found a sale on ebay and uh it was like 50 of them plus the auction absorbers for like i want to say for like 11 dollars. you know what i mean it, it was crazy but anyway i ordered like uh five sets of it was like 60 70 bucks worth of them and then we got a box full of them we just got 50 yeah yeah right, that's how i got mine at the 50 at a time but i ordered like like five or six bundles of them packs of them yeah with yeah that's how we got our stuff there's some good deals out there if you just look, you know, I mean, as far as ordering stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They really are. Just got to find the deals. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, the world don't turn to crap in the next month or two and everybody have time to prepare a little more, but Whenever uh, they started lobbing all those uh, projectiles over into Israel the other day, I, I think that uh, that almost caused a lot of stuff right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I should or should not say on here because there's keywords on here that they'll flag you for. I think uh, like certain words you say and they'll actually flag you and like give you strikes on your channel and stuff. You don't get so many strikes and they boot your channel up. Then we start all over again. And they store some Hershey bars. <laughs> you can vacuum seal them. Like Raul. <laughs> yeah, like Raul. Yeah, Panhandle, you can take them and put them in a mason jar and vacuum seal. And red room, yep. They must we'll keep them in the refrigerator. Huh? They must get cold, I think I heard. Yeah. Yeah, put them in a jar and stick them in the refrigerator, I reckon. Or freezer, but I don't know. I don't like candy bar nuts froze because that, that stuff's hard as a yeah. I'm no, but you can vacuum seal. Yeah, yeah, there was. Do I keep them in the pack? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, leave them in the pack and stick it in the jar. I know you went out with the baby. Or something that you can. Yeah. Uh, well, like, I don't know if you're saying or not. We got that little handheld vacuum sealer that she uses on jars and stuff. And, uh, I'll do a video on it. You already done a video on it. On chocolate? I don't know. But uh, oh. she's, she's gotten out of where she stores like all the babies, like grapes and strawberries and cereals and donuts and candy, everything in court jars and vacuum sells them. And uh, they last for a long, long time that way. Marshmallows. Marshmallows, yeah. They said it. <laughs> yeah um can you imagine how embarrassing that would be as a uh, a country that almost every country in the world fears going head to head with like that which was which would be iran uh i don't know why but you've lobbed that much stuff at one little teeny tiny country and they shoot every single one of them down except for they said five landed inside israel five of them out of 300 and some odd projectiles uh only five of them actually hit inside israel could you imagine how embarrassing that would be and now they're talking crap again that i seen one today where they're talking well that was just a example of our might <laughs> might grows on chicken's ass i don't <laughs> I don't know. That would be like the ultimate embarrassment for any major country. And uh, the Jordan, even Jordan got involved with it, started far shooting them down. Uh, the, the king of Jordan, his daughter was actually a pilot 
and she, they said she shot shot six of them down herself. So I think pretty much all the countries that was involved as far as shooting them down. I think now I don't know if Jordan and them was part of, it, but uh, it was NATO. I mean, honestly, the UK and everybody was over there. The Royal, the Royal Air Force, that was a big part of it, United States, and Jordan, Jordan's Air Force, but that, that would be humiliating, absolutely humiliating, I think it would, I mean, I, I don't know. But I, I do know this much. Israel's wanting to go with go head to head with Iran for years and years and years and years. Now they're going to. Tell them projectile space balls. <laughs> you think they sent their best? Uh, honestly, I don't. Maybe not the best they stuff they had. No, I don't think that. But I don't think they sent junk knowing that there's going to be shot down. I think that they figured they was just going to light them up, you know, and make a statement. Um, they didn't expect that stuff to be shot down like that at all. There's no way. Um, that's why they fired so many of them. I mean, they knew that the Iron Dome was going to crack down on some of them, but all of them but five? Jesus. But no, I don't think they sent the best stuff they had. But I don't think they sent the worst stuff they had neither, because supposedly them drones they had was very, very high tech, supposedly. But every one of them was down. Every one of them was shot down. I think they had five missiles or something like that to hit. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, for the love of God, man, it is like one, one chunk of land over it. There's no possible way that it took that. I don't know. I don't buy that neither. Because you, it, they'll be there, especially them ICBMs and stuff like that. You know them things fly fast, fast. You know, like they're, they're really fast. Uh, they even had the ones that go into orbit and come back out of orbit because they, they show pictures of the, uh, not the Iron Dome, but it's Big Brothers. It's, uh, Israel's, I can't remember, Big Brother or something, or I can't remember the name of it, but it actually shoots down ICBMs in the atmosphere, you know, like, uh, they got one that's, like, for the water, and then they got the Iron Dome, and then have another one that's for, like, uh, ICBMs in, like, basically outer space type thing, you know. Um, I can't remember what it's called, Daniel or something like that. But it showed it intercepting those missiles in orbit. It was like a it almost looked just like a big Fourth of July firework when it explodes. Like, like in a, I don't know. Daniel, I go Daniel Sling. Yeah, <clears throat> I know it had somebody's name attached to it, but it shot it shoots down stuff like way up there. Yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, but there's. Realistically, there's no possible way that it took six hours for them things to reach that that little distance. There's there's just no way. Unless, I well, supposedly they uh like tipped America off and tipped people off that they was going to do it. You know what I mean? So supposedly, and supposedly our fearless leader gave them said, "Well, go ahead. We won't stop you." type thing. I mean, I, like I said, I don't know how true none of that is, but that's just what they're saying on some of the outlets I watch. So, drones from Walmart. <laughs> yeah. My Mavic Mini would do better than that. Come on, man. They just don't like being flew in the trees, I'll tell you that much.
but yeah, that's that was pathetic. That was that was a joke. It really was. And if, for example, if that was some of their good stuff that they sent over like that, man, they better crawl in the hole and stay there because Israel will wipe them off the map. Absolutely, because them. It, mark my words, Israel will hit them and they'll hit them hard, and it'll be like the shock and awe back in uh, Bush days, you know. When Iraq got lit up. Because it, one, one thing about, uh, China, that's exactly right, baby. They really were. <laughs> it didn't take them that long to fly all the way across the continent and get shot down on an overdose. But, uh, Yeah, uh, but one thing about Israel, if, if anybody that uh, kind of pays attention to all this stuff and uh, kind of watches it a lot, and I hate to I hate to be the one to tell you, but I'm a nerd and I watch stuff like this all the time because I, I know what it's going to lead to, uh, and we're going to see it where they are. But uh, Israel is absolutely no joke. You don't you threaten them, you do anything to them, and it's going to be a hundred times worse when they retaliate. And you can't blame them. I mean. Uh, to a certain point, you can't blame them because they're so small. The country is so small. They they have to be that way. They really do. I was watching this other guy. So I think TBN News or something like that. It's a guy that's actually in Israel. And uh, he said that uh, a lot of people in Israel are saying that uh, uh, all those missiles and stuff got shot down because God was protecting his people. And uh Makes you wonder. I mean, I think he was. But they said, they said a lot of them drones crashed after takeoff. You know, I mean, like not far, just those died. I mean, man, um, their technology is not what it should be. Yep. Uh, I don't know exactly what I kind of have to figure out how I want to word stuff on here. Cause I mean, I know what I want to say. It's just, I don't know how I can say it, but uh, if that does happen, if that does happen, um, first thing they're going to do is they're going to respond to it. And then that'll, that'll implicate us. Um, it'll put us right there with them. Uh, Mr. Biden said that he was not going to participate in any strikes in Iran, but he will 100% protect Israel so I don't believe the damn thing he says neither mm -hmm. if he's breathing moving his mouth he's lying I, I don't think I've ever watched anybody on TV ever ever in my life that just nauseates me to watch them talk and, and I'm telling you that, that man is flat I mean it's not because Democrat or Republican it's just that <laughs> man is an Idiot. Yeah, that's like right. <laughs> Tired than a frog. Tired than a frog. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jesus was a Jew. No. But yeah, I think that that that's. <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tighter than a frog, but <laughs> I don't. You know, dang! I need no. I know what I want to say, but I don't know how to say. It. That's right. Don't get tongue twisted. I don't know how to say stuff, but without getting kicked <laughs> off of YouTube studio or YouTube. But um, if Iran lobbed some of their best stuff, ain't no way in hell they got no nuclear weapons. They ain't. They ain't no way. They got firecrackers, maybe. I don't know. But that, that one warhead that they shot down, they showed a picture of today. Uh, well, it wasn't a warhead. It was the missile. They said the warhead broke off of it before it ever got there. It just fell off. It fell off. And uh, when they shot, they actually shot it down, parts of it. And uh, it when it crashed, the, the warhead button, it said it had an 800-pound warhead on it. They don't even know where it went. They don't even know where that warhead's at. It's over in uh, Saudi Arabia somewhere, probably, but... But now I'll tell you, uh, if if they sent some of their best stuff, he uh, his response today was the the 
Abdullah or whatever his name is of Iran. I can't remember what they call him over there. But anyway, I was watching his response today. He said we wanted them to know that our response was calculated and sophisticated and was targeting uh, the places that attacked us where they where Israel bombed that place in uh, Lebanon. Uh, they said where the missiles was fired from. That's where they targeted. No, they didn't. They didn't hit nothing. <laughs> When did we send sell around all of? Man, I tell you. And then, then today they had a. Uh, whenever he was talking about Israel, he said, "I'm." He said, "If Israel responds in any way, that they will be dealt with, you know, like fastly and fiercely, and all this other good stuff." Whatever, dude. But. Netanyahu, people people in Israel and people around the world just absolutely hate that man. But I'm telling you right now, that man will bomb the shit out of somebody and he's fixing to. He don't play with that stuff now, I'm telling you. Abba Dabba. We'll call him Abba Dabba. <laughs> Somebody forget to torque the warheads. <laughs> yeah, evidently they did. Because they said that one fell off. Just fell off. That was big. I think it was the size of like a, a eighteen wheeler trailer, you know, like a uh, like a box trailer, what like a fifty three footer or whatever. It was about that. It was probably bigger, but I mean, it was about that big around too. And then today, like I was saying, uh, Iran had a parade going today, showing off all their missiles and stuff like that. And I'm willing to bet you the deed to this property that not one of them missiles are operational. <laughs> That's on the back of a truck in a parade. Yeah, I mean if. If that right there was the best they can do, ah, yeah, whatever. It's kind of hard to really tell. I mean, if they was wanting to like make a scene or make a statement, they would have sent something good that way. Yeah, at least a half of it would have been really good stuff. You know, to to make a scene and cause you know make a statement with, but they didn't. And there's no possible way that they, they knew all that stuff was bad when they said no, there's no possible, or they wouldn't have done it to embarrass themselves like they did. Now they're just pretty much the laughing stock of the Middle East, really. <laughs> Locked out in the weapons budget. <laughs> yeah, or a torque wrench. Yeah, but I, I stayed up watching that the whole time. And uh, it was... All it was is just a real, very, very, very expensive firework show, and that's everything it was. But the coolest pictures, uh, the coolest videos was where that uh, Daniel's deal uh, was uh, shooting them out of the atmosphere. Uh, that that was pretty cool looking. It, it looked just like some of the uh, 4th of July, like big burst. That's what it looked like. Yeah, save face, yeah. Locked out to for that little dabble, do you? Yeah, you ain't lying. <laughs> but yeah, I watched all that. It's I laugh, man. I tell you what, I hate to be like that because I know it's gonna it's gonna be bad. It's gonna get within the next day or two. It's gonna be so so far out there that it's gonna be affecting us in some way or another. And it that has a potential to affect us quite more than people realize want to admit, but. Uh, Because all these people just marching across the little southern line that we had got drawn in the sand over there with Mexico. Uh, you can't say that word on here neither, I don't think. But uh, they're not all over here for unemployment benefits, I promise you that. Or food stamp cards. They're not, that's not what they're here for. They might take a while before they're commanded to do something differently, but... Shut down protest, yeah. You know, they didn't charge none of them people. The, the protest you're talking about on them bridges and stuff. You know, none of them people got any charges whatsoever, all that. I guess they just released. They arrested them and released them. No charges. <laughs> yeah. We're here in Yeah. Yeah, there's. Uh, that's kind of like what I say, too. I don't. I ain't too worried about them over there, what they're doing over there. 
I'm worried about them 1.8 million that they know that they know of got away. The Chinese nationalists and Iranians and stuff like that that come across the southern border that they 1.8 million that they know of. That's not including the getaways. That's just that the ones they know got away. You know, 1.8 million. And I think it's if I ain't mistaken, they said that since Biden took office, because God only knows how many got away that they don't know about. That's the ones we need to be more concerned about, but obviously not. And then uh, Mr. Ray went on television again the other day talking about how how much of a, I guess, a danger we are in right now around the country. That's the second time he's done it. But now they're looking, the reason he done that this time was to get more um, funding for their budget, I guess. But, I mean, they know that just ain't going to say that they they're not going to tell anybody anything. Just like that big asteroid that flew by the other day. They didn't tell nobody about it because they didn't want anybody to panic. And just like in 2029, if YouTube's still working in 2029, April 13th, Apophis is supposed to smack the shit out of us, I reckon. Great big comet that's supposed to be coming through. I think it's April 13th, 2029. You got people saying it's it's not going to hit, and then you got people saying it's absolutely going to hit. So I'm not saying it. Yeah, I honestly, I haven't either, but yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to smile down. As far as where we're at, Arkansas, I mean, honestly, and what I do for a living and stuff like that, I don't. I, there, there has been an increase in undocumented people wanting bonded out. We'll put it that way. Uh, not a great big increase, but uh, there has been uh, quite a bit. Uh, there have been several calls made for people to get out that's not legal. You know what I mean? So. Oh, I bet Green Man does see him. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry that. But up here in the up here in the mountains, the don't don't get to see a whole lot. But God only knows, really, what is here. I mean, who or what? But I think the majority of everything like that would be like big cities, like Atlanta, uh, Charlotte. Probably around Washington, California, probably all of California because that's liberal as hell. Gavin Newsom. I seen on the uh, uh, Mayorkas thing where the Republicans, before they took it and got it dismissed, or before the Democrats dismissed it on the Republicans today, but I think yesterday, day before yesterday, when I was finally talking about it, they brought it up that Mayorkas uh, knew about our so-called protectors at the border, uh, letting them come in and telling them to basically, you know, hey, we'll let you in to vote for us, basically. That was actually said on TV. So. He didn't deny it. That uh, we're all saying that uh, Iran was a laughing stock in the Middle East. That that's how the United States is all around the world right now. People just absolutely laughing at us. But the deal with Iran, the, the, I guess, the, I, I guess I'll just take a chance on getting kicked off YouTube. But the the way that I say it is, if if anything happens with Iran, um that's going to put us right in the middle of it simply because of Israel. But then that's going to put Russia and China in the middle of it because of Iran, because they've got in that bricks or whatever it is. So that's when everything's, everything will start getting interesting is if, if they get involved, which will put it'll pull NATO in and it'll be NATO and bricks and everybody just, 
That's what they're wanting anyway. So, And that's whenever people's going to start experiencing uh, their lights going out. Cell phones not working type thing, you know. That's when all that's going to be popping off. <laughs> I remember if you dispatch <laughs> I don't know. I think it's 72 virgins. Let's get those boys laid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sounds like they're having a hard time doing it themselves over there. <laughs> yeah. But I, out of 300, it was 100. Uh, I can't remember the exact count, but it was over 300, over 300 projectiles fired from Syria. I mean, Iran into Israel. I don't know where the hell I got Syria from. But anyway, uh, it's a mad world. Five of them landed inside Israel. And the rest of them was either shot down or they fell shortly after takeoff. Um, that is absolutely a joke, man. I, I don't care who you are. Hell, North Korea could do way better than that. The Cardinal get intact in Australia. Yeah. Yeah, the world has gone to crap. It really has. It, I mean, it's it's absolutely, it's it's really impressive how how down the toilet it's gone quickly. Mm -hmm. Just from the beginning of the year till now, look, I mean, look at everything that's happened. You know, wow. That's what I said, and, and I started last year saying it, and I'm going to continue to say it till the end of this year. But I look for something dramatic, dramatic to happen this year. I really do. Mm -hmm. Here, here. I'm just a little Yeah. Yeah, we got eight minutes. That'd be two. You wanna do eight more? Sure. All right. Well, I don't think he answered Arkansas. Arkansas uh, Green Man's down there in the great state of Georgia. He's not too far from our Atlanta, as us country boy, people like call it Atlanta. <laughs> I think you on the other side of the. I got myself tongue twisted now. Eighty miles north of hell. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know you're close to Atlanta. <laughs> well, not real close, but I know you was down there somewhere. I think end of 2025. 25, yeah. I think, I, I don't I don't think it'll last that long. I really don't. Uh, everybody has their own opinion of what, uh, what they see. I mean, you know, stuff like that. And nobody knows nothing for sure except for one person, and he ain't come back yet. But, um, but honestly, I think that before the end of this year, there's everything they're just absolutely building everything up too much right now for it to for it to go any further than in this year and they will do what and regardless of your political views uh, you know that that doesn't affect me in any way but they're doing everything they possibly can to keep donald trump out of office and they'll do anything they have to do to prevent it we'll just leave it at that so That's what did they rig the elections for? Yeah, I'm moving to Mount Philip Ligers. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, there's a bunch of them here. Now, I'm not sure. Even though we're that close, I mean, we ain't, we ain't that far apart. You know, I mean, a couple hours, I guess. Tennessee and Georgia. My dog's barking at somebody or something again. Yeah. But. <clears throat> Evidently, the wildlife is a little different between here and there. This is how World War II started. Yep. Oh, my legs are so dead. Bye. But the, the what what really has has my attention right now, like I said, is the Israel the whole Israel thing, is because um, I think it's called BRICS. I think uh, Iran, Russia, China, uh, 
whatever the rest of them are. I, I, I got myself brain farted now. I can't think straight. But anyway, uh, that's what I look for. Except it's Russia, not Germany. Yeah. Yeah, Russia, they, uh, I don't think, uh, I agree with a lot of stuff that they say. Uh, one, the one, I don't like mentioning channel names, but the uh, one thing that they said was Russia absolutely knows it cannot do anything with NATO. I mean, if once NATO gets involved, if nobody backs Russia up, they're, they're just, they're screwed. But, uh, but you know China and the BRICS. That's the reason they formed BRICS for that reason, pretty much. But I think it's uh, what the, the B stands for? What Belarus or whatever it is? And Russia, Iran, China, and Syria. I think I think I'm saying Sudan, whatever. And they are back. Yeah, it's basically their version of NATO. Yeah, exactly. All, all the chess players are in position. Brazil, there you go. Yeah, they got all their players in place, that's for sure. But I don't, I don't know how to take... I, I know for a fact that once, if the United States gets involved with Iran, Russia will be involved with Iran too. I mean, they'll back Iran... But as far as China, I don't know. I think China would take the opportunity to take Taiwan before they done anything. They would seize that right out of the gate. And that would, that would put us there, too. So you're talking about stretching us thin. I think that's the whole purpose. So, like, if something was to kick off that bad uh, to get the United States drawn into something major, major like that, uh, China would go ahead and hit Taiwan, which would put the United States defending Taiwan, too. So... The downhill slope, either way. But anyway, guys, we'll get uh, we'll jump off here. We gotta get up early in the morning, but uh, figure we jump on for our tunes, kind of hang out with everybody. Let everybody know we're still kicking. We'll do a. Uh, um, can't say for sure, but definitely, we'll, we'll definitely be back within a couple of days, either Friday or Saturday night. We'll, we'll come back on, but I'll do it. I'll try to like schedule it ahead of time, let people know we're coming like an hour or two ahead of time. Uh, if if I'm home in time, I'll do that. So let everybody know we're going to come on live. So maybe we'll have a better topic than doom and gloom. Alright, you too, green man, buddy. He's barking at the cats. But, uh, yeah, good night, Arkansas. Uh, like I said, we'll try to get either Friday or Saturday. We'll be back. So, But like I said, I'll, I'll schedule it ahead of time. Let everybody know we're coming. Good night, everybody. Yeah, good night, guys. Thank you guys for coming in. Hanging yeah, out with thank us. you. Do y'all remember those words? Because you can't start this up. And they can't make us run. Y'all remember those words? Uh, to starve us out. Yeah, I kind of vaguely. You can't starve us out. Because that's kind of a, a hillbilly slang, too. Can't starve us out. We'll go in the woods and we'll find something. All right, good night, buddy. Good night, y'all. Have a good night. Yeah, we'll see you guys.